Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and into another BoxyCharm unboxing. Uh, if you've seen my thumbnail, you probably know that I'm not too excited about this month's BoxyCharm and I'm gonna tell you why in just a few minutes. But first, if you are new here, Welcome to my channel. We'd love to have you as part of our family here on YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button before you go. And those of you guys who keep coming back for more, thank you so very much. It means the world to me. I am not pumped about BoxyCharm. Um, I got BoxyCharm because everybody always reviews about how great they are, but I have had nothing but bad luck. I started my BoxyCharm subscription in November of 19, and that month we were supposed to get a free Park Avenue palette. Um, when we signed up for the subscription service. I get my box and there is no Park Avenue palette to be found in that box. Um, so I sent them a quick little email and um, they replied back to me right away. They said, we're sorry, it should have been in there. We're gonna send it right out to you. That was in November. Um, about the 15th or so of November, um, and I waited and waited and waited. The status of the package said it had been shipped, but it had never left the company or the dock or whatever the thing is where they store things. Um, it finally arrived to me on December 23rd, uh, so it took 45 days or so to get to me. And what they sent me was not a Park Avenue palette, but what they did send was a Tarte Clay Play, Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. Um, the thing about it is, is I don't mind to have this palette, but whenever you send me a specified email telling me that you're gonna correct the situation, that that, that specific palette would be sent out to you, it takes them 45 days to get it to you, and then what arrives in the mail is not what they promised me. They could have sent me an email that said, yeah, hey, we don't have any more of the Park Avenue palettes. We're gonna be sending you something out as a replacement, but none of that ever happened. Um, as a matter of fact, still, whenever you go in and look at my items, it still says Park Avenue palette in there um, and not this one. It tells you what was shipped. So I don't know if there was a mistake on maybe the person who packaged this up and sent it out to me's part, um, but it still says Park Avenue palette in the actual shipped item in my list of items that have been sent to me. Um, this is, like I said, this is not a bad palette. It's just not the palette that they promised me. Um, the price of the Park Avenue palette and this palette are pretty much the same. Um, they're, I do like this Mella Tarte's um, eyeshadows and things like that. This has got some eyeshadows in it, it's got some bronzers, things like that in there, contour. Um, I'm not a contour kind of hoe, so I probably will not use half of this palette, okay? Um, so that's disappointing, that's, well, that's what started the feud between me and BoxyCharm. Um, so that, that's a disappointing. I didn't even waste my time uh, to go in there and say, hey, this isn't the palette that it says that was shipped to me. Um, I should, and I probably will once I get done with this box review because I am quite upset uh, with this box. Um, I just am, and we're gonna get into it right now. So this month's uh, theme is called Breaking the Ice. This is what my box looks like, okay? And I'm hot. I'm hot to try it about it, and I'm gonna show you why here in a second. Okay, uh, keep in mind that in my beauty profile, it says no skincare, none. I don't want you to send me skincare. I don't want skincare. Um, and I changed that after I got my first box in November. When I first did my beauty profile, I was sent, I did sign up, he makeup heavy, uh, sometimes send me a skincare product. And my very first box and my December box were both heavy with skincare. Um, so in November when I got my box, I went in there and I changed my profile to say makeup only. 
no skincare. And then in December, I got my box and there was skincare in there and I thought, okay, maybe it just takes like 30 days or something once you've updated your profile for them to get it through their system and then January's box is gonna be fine. Okay, that's how I felt about last month. This month I get my box and it's got half of its skincare. Three, three out of the five products is skincare, okay? So, oh, <clears throat> let's get started. First of all, um, the item that I picked is not even in this box. Like your choice item for the month is not even in my box. They didn't even send it to me. So there's that. I guess they just randomly decided to send me something else, okay? And I'm not happy about it. I wanted that Ace Beauty palette. That's what I picked and for some reason, Surprise! It's not in this damn box. I'm so upset about it. Um, so, first up in my box is the Pretty Vulgar uh, Concealer, okay? Its value is $25. I don't mind getting concealer. After all, it is at least makeup. Um, the color should work just fine for me. I am a little bit more on the mature side. You know, I am 40, so like putting this under my eyes like all the beauty gurus do and baking, baking it and doing all that thing, that's not gonna work for me because, you know, I'm older, so I have really tiny, fine lines. Plus, I have really very thin, sensitive skin right here under my eyes. I could do with some filler, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I gotta put my kids through college first, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that is okay with me. Its value is 25 bucks. Next up is the Dr. Brand 24 seven retinol eye cream. Okay, I mean, Dr. Brand is a good product, but again, this is skincare. I have a whole huge basket of skincare things that I have gotten from various subscription boxes sitting on my dresser, and my face is not big enough to go through them all. That's why I don't want any more skincare items. I just have too many. I just have too much. I'm not ever going to get through it. I've given half of it away and I still won't have time to use it. Um, so I personally don't want any skincare products until I use up all of that other stuff. Okay. I do like Dr. Brand products. I've actually had this product before. It works wonderfully. Okay. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about the actual product itself. I'm just pissed because uh, BoxyCharm is not listening to what it is that I'm saying. And as a consumer, I want somebody to hear what I'm saying and correct the problem and correct it the right way. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's my problem. This bad boy retails for $55, okay? So that's product number two. Product number three is this Skin & Co by Roma. Okay, this is triple therapy, trep, Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. Um, it's a del delicate exfoliating cream with a rich, a rich texture and soothing fragrance. Uh, that's all fine and good. Um, I'm sure this is a grand exfoliant, okay? I'm sure this is a great face cream. It is made in Italy. It is a really good size, 5.07 ounces. However, skin care, okay? It's skin freaking care, okay? $28 this retails for, um, and again, I I have told them not to get send me skincare. So there's that, okay? Uh, moving up is the Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist Spray. And this really uh, gets my water boiling because this was a product from last month. This product right here was a product that was in last month's box. Um, and I didn't get it in last month's box, so I guess they had some leftovers and decided to send it freaking out. This month, and again, this is face mist. This is also skincare, okay? The engineering, engineering, energizing face mist is the pick me up you need to get through your day and night. Special by face formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Get ready to power up. Um, formulated with our even out complex which helps 
even the look of redness blotchiness and hyperpigmentation dark spots and dullness um, I'm sure this product is fine but I don't appreciate getting a leftover product this thing here is um, $32 $32 that right there I wouldn't pay $32 for that um, and then the last thing that I got in my box is the Grande um, Cosmetics Intense Thickening Mascara um, with castor oil. This bad boy retails for $25. And I'm not, I mean, at least this is a makeup product. I'm kind of particular when it comes to um, <clears throat> mascaras. Uh, more specifically, the wand. Um, if you guys have seen the um, Thrive wand the thrive mascara the wand that's inside that mascara is usually the mass the kind of um mascara wand that i particular like particularly you guys know what i'm saying right particularly like i'm kind of particular when it comes to mascara how many times am i gonna say particular nobody knows anyway so this wand is kind of the opposite of the Thrive wand. Um, I will give it a try because it is so, castor oil um, does promote the growth of uh, your eyebrows and also your eyelashes. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the wand that's inside there. Um, if all mascara could come with the wand that's in the Thrive uh, mascara, I'd be really happy about it. I would live my best life like that. Um, there's just something about that wand um, and I know Thrive is a fiber mascara, however, um, I don't know, there's just something about that mascara that just suits my needs all the way around, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and that is what was in my box. You guys have to let me know. Let's see, where's my phone? Oh, it's way over there. So let me see if I can do some math. I don't math very well, so bear with me and I'm gonna see if I can't add up the cost of this box. Um, the box is $25 a month and it is supposed to have $125 worth of value. Um, I'm sure with the prices on this card, it is $125 value. So we got 50, we got 105, 105 plus 32 is 140 so it's probably about a hundred and sixty dollar value in this box which isn't bad I just wish that BoxyCharm would pay attention to what it is that I'm asking for um, I will be sending them an email to see why my picked my choice product wasn't inside my box. This is the second box out of the three boxes that I've gotten from BoxyCharm that has absolutely been messed up. December's box wasn't messed up. I mean, they put up, they put my choice pick in there, um, but they did send me ha over half of it with skincare. This box is over half of it is skincare, um, and I just don't want skincare products. Um, I don't mind if there's one out of the five products that are skincare, but honestly, I would rather just have all makeup because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. And whenever I request something, I just wish that BoxyCharm would do what they're supposed to do whenever they should make it right. If they make a mistake, they should make it right. Um, even though this value of this palette is the same as the other one, that doesn't really make any difference to me. Um, I would have appreciated an email saying, yo, um, you know, we don't have any more of the Park Avenue palette. Can we get you something else? Uh, here's a list that you can choose from instead of just sending the wrong palette and then being like, oh, we'll just send this palette out and hope that all is well and it just blows over. I mean, that's not really good business, especially if I'm spending my money. I would like to get the premium box, but I'm afraid to spend any more money on BoxyCharm, being that they can't get this box right. Um, and with that being said, I'm only giving BoxyCharm one more month. If things haven't worked itself out by February's box, then I'm going to be canceling my subscription. Um, I have never had this trouble with any other subscription box ever. 
that I've ever had and I've had several in the past. I currently do Ipsy and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but I've had Allure, I've had a Macy's, I've had Sephora, I've had Birchbox, I've had all bunches and bunches, okay, of subscription boxes in the past and I've never not been listened to and I've never not had anything. I'm fine if somebody makes a mistake, but if you make a mistake, I think that you should fix the problem. That's, I think you should fix it. Okay, not send something out and pretend like it's the same thing as what was promised because most people out there, consumers know what it is that they were promised. I would have never signed up for BoxyCharm if it wasn't for that Park Avenue palette. Um, I wanted that palette. I didn't want to have to pay for it. Um, I didn't want to take money out of Christmas funds and things like that. At the time, in November, whenever it came out, uh, you know, if you're going to lure me in to pay for your service, then you should at least uh, give me whatever it is that you promised me, basically. So they got February. If, Febu if February's box is not the way that it should be, then I'm out. Deuces. Um, and I'll just stick with Ipsy and go from there. You know what I mean? That's just the way I feel about it. Um, let me know down below because all of the BoxyCharm unboxings that I have watched have been way better than my box. Um, and I'm not jealous. I'm glad that they got the box. I'm glad that they got their items that they requested, their choice item. I, however, did not. Um, so, yeah. That does it for this video. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And for those of you guys who keep coming back for more, thank you so very much. Uh, your support really means the world to me. Let me know how you're feeling about your BoxyCharm because me and BoxyCharm are getting ready to get divorced. We're breaking up if they don't get this stuff fixed and figured out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, I'll see you next month for another BoxyCharm unboxing. He, a lot of words. All right, bye.